gave you guys some brief chemistry tips to make your hair um to make your hair better before we do that we're just gonna go over some brief history about shampoo prior to 1927 shampoo used to be a soap with a very limited amount of chemicals it was primarily a surfactant usually sodium lauryl sulfate which cleans tension and emulsifies by binding to your greasy hair however thanks to hands Schwarzkopf liquid shampoo was invented. Before that, they used fragrances and perfumes in countries like England and India. So now that we know some of the history behind shampoo, we're going to conduct some experiments uh, that explains like the viscosity of shampoo. And Michelle here is going to explain what viscosity is. Sure, Nadia. So the viscosity is the resistance flow. So the higher the intermolecular forces, are the higher the viscosity is, which means that the, the liquid is less likely to flow. The other factors that affect the viscosity are temperature and the shape of the molecule. In this experiment, we'll be changing the temperature of our shampoo and comparing the viscosity of hot, cold, and room temperature shampoo. Yeah, Michelle, that's right. Also, increasing the temperature increases the average kinetic energy of the molecules of shampoo, which decreases the intermolecular forces. Um, <clears throat> this lowers the viscosity of the shampoo and causes it to be more liquidy and less sticky, and it's more uh, likely to flow. Mm -hmm. From Goldilocks, we want our viscosity of shampoo to be not too low, not too high, but just right. We drop the penny into the shampoo at three different temperatures. After five minutes, we measure to see how deep it sank. The coldest one sank one milliliter, the hot one sank all the way to the bottom, and the one at room temperature sank five milliliter. This means that the colder temperature was more viscous, not allowing the penny to flow, while the hotter temperature was less viscous, allowing the penny to drop to the bottom. This means that the colder one experienced higher intermolecular forces, while the hotter one had weaker forces. Okay, so recap on viscosity. What is the definition of viscosity? <laughs> oh, the resistance to flow? Yay, that's correct! Good job! <laughs> oh yeah, Michelle. That's, by the way, um, do you know that the pH of shampoo is really important factor con to consider when buying shampoo? No, I didn't know that. Well, it's true. Do you guys think that... Um, shampoo should be more acidic or basic what do you guys think is it even important <laughs> no. did you guys know that shampoos are slightly acidic with a ph around 5.5 because under acidic conditions your hair follicles are able to lie flat making the hair feel smooth and shiny unlike super frizzy the closer the shampoo's ph is to your hair's pH, which your hair's pH around, is around 4.5 to 5.5. The shinier your hair will look and the better the shampoo is for your hair. Oh, I have no idea. I thought they were neutral. Um, no, water is neutral, not shampoo. Oh yeah, I read this article about how human hair is acidic because the natural hair acidity prevents the fungi and bacteria in your hair and scalp and keeps the cuticles closed and healthy. Yeah, that's right. Basic is bad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alkaline pH may increase the negative electrical charge of the hair fiber surface and can damage the cuticles and fibers of your hair. However, more acidic shampoos can decrease fizzy hair and make less electrical charge on the fibers. 
So next time you buy shampoo, check the pH to be in between 4.5 and 5.5, just like this one. Let's experiment and measure the pH of different shampoos that we got at the grocery store to know which one to buy next time you guys go shopping. <laughs> We used a pH row to measure the pH of different kinds of shampoo. We found that Suave had a pH of 5.51 and that the Dandruff shampoo had a pH of 5.8. Therefore, Suave is the best shampoo to use because it had a pH which was closer to the pH of your hair, which is 4.5. Buy Suave. It's cheap and it's better for your hair. I hope you guys learned about the importance of viscosity and pH of shampoo and if you guys want to have beautiful shiny hair like ours, you guys better buy the right shampoo with the right pH and the right viscosity. <laughs>